Hi SJC! Welcome back to SJC Online. We're so excited that you're here. This week we have Ezra doing some family worship, so you're going to need to get up on your feet and get some actions ready. Megan is going to be giving us a quiz about everything that we've learnt these past few weeks. And then she's also going to be doing the craft for us. Emily is going to be praying for us. But before we do all of that, we're going to look at the gallery to see all of the amazing craft that you guys did from last week. Okay, so great job guys. The next song is Jumping in the House. So for this action, we're going to hit two poses. We're going to nod our heads. Then we're going to hit two poses and another pose again. And we're going to nod our heads. Then we're going to start jumping. We're going to jump really big. Jump really big. Jump really big. Yeah, nice. And then we're going to bring our arms in. And we're going to clap. Bring our arms in and clap. Then we're going to wave them in the air. Like you just don't care. Yeah, nice guys. Then you're going to roll them. Yeah, really good. Bad, yeah, yeah, good. Nice, let's go. Let's hit it, DJ. Come in, okay, let's go. Oh, Izzy, he's where are you, love? Smoke. You ready? Okay, then. Jumping in the house of God, jump up, jump in the house, jumping in the house of God. Jumping in the house of God, jump up, jump in the house, jumping in the house of God. Jumping in the house of God, jump up, jump in the house, jumping in the house of God. Jumping in the house of God, jump up, jump in the house, jumping in the house of God. Look, God, one and three, three and the same. You promise we'll mimic in your name You will be with us, you will be here as well God to sing your praise, my heart compel Righteousness and truth be your throne Love and faithfulness yours to own Those who praise your name gain blessings We're walking in the light of your presence Stick up your hands, dig them up, get them up in the air Raise them up, pop in prayer Stick up your hands, dig them up, get them up in the air Raise them up, pop in prayer We're getting busy We're getting busy Who's in the house? God's in the house Jumping in the house of God, jump up, jump in the house, jumping in the house of God, jumping in the house of God, jump up, jump in the house, jumping in the house of God, jumping in the house of God, jump up, jump in the house, jumping in the house of God, jumping in the house of God, jump up, jump in the house, jumping in the house of God. We rejoice in your name all day long, praise your love forever strong. Your spirit comes, it comes like thunder. We're gonna sing you songs unnumbered. Jesus, you died on the cross to free us. We sing your praise, Lord Jesus. Jesus, you died on the cross to free us. We sing your praise, Lord Jesus. Stick up your hands, dig them up, get them up in the air. Raise them up, pop in prayer. Stick up your hands, dig them up, get them up in the air. Raise them up, pop in prayer. We're getting busy. We're getting busy. Who's in the house? God's in the house. Jumping in the house of God, jump up, jump in the house, jumping in the house of God. Jumping in the house of God, jump up, jump in the house, jumping in the house of God. To the west, to the east, to the south, we're all here, guzz in the house. To the west, to the east, to the south, we're all here, guzz in the house. Getting busy, we're getting busy. Who's in the house? God's in the house. Jumping in the house of God, jump up, jump in the house, jumping in the house of God. Jumping in the house of God, jump up, jump in the house, jumping in the house of God. Jumping in the house of God, jump up, jump in the house, jumping in the house of God. Jumping in the house of God, jump. series now so I've created a recap for you all so put on your thinking caps and let's jump into this week's quiz here are some small pictures or icons that represent characters that we have been learning about throughout this series can you guess who they represent And the answers are Hannah, King David, Saul and Samuel. Well, that was a fun picture round. I hope you got them all. 
But now let's get into the big questions. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. So question one. Who was the judge who defeated the Midianites with only 300 men using torches and horns? Hmm. Was it Gideon? Or was it Samuel? Or was it David? Hmm. Was it Gideon? Samuel? Or David? The answer was Gideon. Well done. Okay, now it's on to question two. What was Ruth's nationality? Was it Egyptian? Was it Moabite? Or was it Nazarene? Hmm, so what was it? Was it Egyptian? Moabite? Or Nazarene? Hmm, I'll give you time to think about that one. Yes, that's right. It was Moabite. Well done. Okay, now on to question three. What was the relationship of Naomi to Ruth? Was it mother-in-law? Was it grandmother? Or was it mother? Let's hear those again. What was the relationship of Naomi to Ruth? Was it mother-in-law? Was it grandmother? Or was it mother? Hmm, what was it? That's right, it was mother-in-law. Well done. So on to question four. Why was Hannah grieved? Or why was Hannah upset? Was it because her offering to the Lord was too small? Or was it because her firstborn had died? Or was it because she had no children? Hmm, was it one, because her offering to the Lord was too small? Or was it because her firstborn had died? Or was it because she had no children? Hmm, have a little think. That's right, it's because she had no children. So now we're on question five. Okay. What did Hannah promise to do if God gave her a male child? Hmm. Was it that she would teach him to be a priest? Or was it that she would give him to the Lord? Or was, was it that she would never cut his hair? Hmm. So what did Hannah promise to God if he gave her a male child? Was it she would teach him to be a priest? That she would give him to the Lord? Or that she would never cut his hair? Hmm. What does she promise? Hmm. That's right. She would give him to the Lord if God gave her a male child. So now we're on question six. So, what did Samuel do when he was woken up during the night when someone was calling him? Did he get up and went to Eli? Did he roll over and go back to sleep? Or did he wake up the sons of the priests? Hmm. So what did Samuel do when he was woken up during the night when someone was calling him? Did he go up and went to Eli? Did he roll over and go back to sleep? Or did he wake up the sons of the priests? Hmm, what did Samuel do? That's right, he went to Eli. So now on question seven. So, as well as a priest and a judge, what else did Samuel eventually become? Did he become a prophet, the king of Israel, or a father to many. So as well as a priest and a judge, what else did Samuel become? Was it a prophet, the king of Israel, or a father to many? Hmm, what did Samuel eventually become? That's right, he became a prophet. So now we're on question eight. So, can you remember, who was the first king of Israel? Was it David? Was it Saul? Or was it Solomon? Hmm, can you remember, who was the first king of Israel? Was it David, Saul, or Solomon? Hmm, who was it? 
That's right, it was so. Well done guys, we're already on question nine. We're halfway through the quiz. But I hope you're still focused because we've got a lot more questions to get through. Okay, so what was the... Uh, um, sorry, Stacey, someone's just calling me. Um, <laughs> just talk among yourselves. <laughs> oh, hello King David. Oh, hi Megan. Sorry I'm late for the quiz. I have many King duties to complete. <laughs> That's okay, King David. Um, we're just on question nine, but the boys and girls are doing so well. Ah, oh, fantastic. Well done, SJC. You guys have clearly been listening. Okay, Megan. Carry on with the quiz. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, where was I? Oh, sorry. <laughs> question nine. Okay. So what was the name of the giant who David fought? Was it Sol? Was it Frederick? Or was it Goliath? Oh, I remember this. Oh, uh, King David, do you want to tell everyone? Oh, the answer is Goliath. Yes, that's right, King David. Oh, thank you. Okay, so next question. Question 10. Was King David the same David that killed Goliath? Yes mm -hmm. or no? Hmm. Yes. That's right, it was me, King David. But I wasn't the king at the time. Okay, question 11. Did King Saul obey God? Yes or no? Hmm. Did Saul obey God? Yes or no? No, he didn't. Saul did not obey God. Oh, Megan, I'm really sorry, but I'm going to have to leave now. As a king, I am very busy, but it was so lovely to join in the SJC quiz. You guys have done so amazing, and well done for listening. See you soon, and have fun with the rest of the quiz. Oh, no, you're going already? Oh, well, thank you for joining us, King David. Bye, King David. Oh, that was fun, guys. At least you could join us for a little while. But let's carry on with the rest of the quiz. Okay, so question 12. Which prophet secretly anointed David as king? Was it Elijah? Was it Moses? Or was it Samuel? Hmm. Okay, so which prophet secretly anointed David as king? Was it Elijah? Was it Moses? Or was it Samuel? Hmm, can you remember? That's right, it was Samuel. Okay, question 13. David's best friend was Solomon, Saul, or Jonathan? Hmm, who was David's best friend? Was it Solomon, Saul, or Jonathan? Can you remember? That's right, it was Jonathan. You're doing so well, guys. We're nearly to the end of the quiz. Just hang on a bit more. Okay, so we're on question 14. As David's best friend, Jonathan, what gift did Jonathan give David as a sign of their friendship? Was it land and sheep, houses and furniture, or clothes and weapons? So what did Jonathan give his best friend, David, as a sign for their friendship? Was it land and sheep, houses and furniture, or was it clothes and weapons? What did he give him? That's right, it was clothes and weapons. Okay guys, we're on question 15 already. Only three more questions left. Which famous Psalm of David contains the line, he makes me lie down in green pastures? Is it Psalm 13, Psalm 23, or Psalm 35? So Psalm 13, Psalm 23, and Psalm 35. That's right, it's Psalm 23. Okay, two more questions left. Okay, question 16. Who made several attempts on David's life because of jealousy? His older brother, King Saul, or King Saul's son, Jonathan? So his older brother, King Saul, or King Saul's son, Jonathan? That's right, it was King Saul. 
yes, it's the last question. Question 17. And the last question is, what did David take from King Saul while Saul slept? Was there a cruise and a spear, a piece of Saul's robe, or the sword of Saul? Hmm. So what did David take from King Saul whilst he slept? Was there a cruise and a spear, a piece of Saul's robe, or the sword of Saul? That's right, it was a piece of his robe. Yes, well done SJC, we did it, we did the quiz. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you for listening. You have done so well with this series. I'm so very proud of you. Okay, so now we are going to go do the craft. again SJC. I'm so excited to show you the craft for this week because it is so easy but also really enjoyable and this week we are going to be drawing things that we are thankful for. Now it could be anything that you could think of, it could be the bed that you sleep in, it could be the yummy dinners that you eat or it could be your friends and your family, it could literally be anything as long as you can fit it all on this paper and if you can't then just get more paper and draw some more. So all you need is some pencils, colouring pens or colouring pencils or paint and some paper. But for my drawing, I'm going to be using some colouring pens. Now let's just jump straight into it. There we go guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's craft as much as I have. Now don't forget to send in your lovely drawings, I bet they're all so amazing and I would love to see them. Just send them over to Camilla to feature in next week's gallery. Now let's head over to Emily as she's going to be praying for us. Over to you Emily. Hey SJC, thank you Megan for that amazing craft, it was so much fun. And I'm sure your crafts look amazing too. So be sure to send them in to the gallery next week because we would love to see them. I think I'm the most grateful for my family. Now we're going to pray. So just close your eyes or put your hands together and let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for what we have learned in SJC over the last term. Thank you for giving us the knowledge and ideas to make SJC as fun as it can be. Thank you for our parents, but also our schools, where we can learn more and more every day, but also for our friends and teachers who are there. Lastly, thank you for the church, as we all join together at home to watch SJC Online, and that we are still able to be connected, and have fun in all the activities we do. Thank you, God. Amen. <laughs>